Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I have another 4 for 4 for you today. If you are not familiar with my 4 for 4s, I will have a playlist up above. What I do is I take a palette. I wear it for four days. I come back here. I tell you my thoughts on that palette. I provide swatches and uh, then at the very end I rank them and sometimes declutter. Today I have four new palettes. These are all very colorful palettes and mostly ones that I picked up this year. There's one that's just a older colorful palette that I have. So the first one I have is the Hip Dot and Clueless palette, the 411 palette. Then I have a ColourPop and Malibu Barbie palette. I have the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette in conjunction with, um, this is her, their collaboration with Angelica Nyquist. I think I said that right. And then I have the Violet Boss Flamingo eyeshadow palette. We're going to start with this one. This is the oldest palette in the bunch and I will have timestamps down below if you want to skip one of these. All right, so in here there are a lot of shades. There are, there are 20 shades in here and as you can see there's just a wide variety of shades. I don't want to get it too close because then the colors start to like shift and do weird things. So there are a lot of great colors in here. Let me swatch them all for you and then I'll tell you my thoughts on this palette. Okay, I was a little rusty with my swatches. So um, these ones here are actually, these last three are actually um, the bottom row. <laughs> I just got a little carried away with my swatches and where I started them. Didn't uh, do very good with that. So I apologize for that. So as you can see, there are a lot of beautiful colors in here. The shimmers in here are just so eye-catching and beautiful. I really love um, this one right here. It's just like this blue shift. It's really, really pretty and very unusual. Like the purples and the pinks are what I wear the most. I wear the oranges a lot. These two look kind of similar, but I feel like they build up a little better. So um, those are these two colors here, Popsicle and Sunbathe. They're just, they did such a wonderful job on this palette. This is one that I highly recommend. I've recommended it in the past too. I absolutely love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. This one makes me happy to use. And so when I started to do this, I was like, I have to include the Violet Boss Flamingo in here. It's so good. Um, like this one, this shade right here, which is very, you can barely see it on my arm. This one is a great, you know, uh, under the eyebrow uh, color. There's just so many pretty colors in there. I use the yellows a lot. I use the oranges. I use... The only thing I don't use as much are the blues, but that's just because I don't like blues as much on me, but they are stunning. I mean, look at that turquoise shimmer that's right there. Oh, so beautiful. Highly recommend it. I love the formula of this. The mattes are really easy to work with. I find that they're really, they're a nice formula. They're not powdery. They're not creamy so much. They just are easy to work with. And um, so I find that really easy. And I love the shimmers, like all of the shimmers I apply with my fingers, mostly like on my lid. But oh, I love this palette. I love Violet Voss's formula. I think it sh they have a really good formula. And I would recommend a, a lot of their palettes, depending on what the color story is. But this one, this is my favorite of all the Violet Voss palettes. All right, let's move on to the ColourPop and Malibu Barbie palette. This one is also very pretty. I love the shades in here. Some of these are not considered eye safe though, so you do need to be careful about those. They are really easily marked though. Um, so what they are is, it's hard to hold it and not blind you. So what it is, is it's the ones with like the little um, embossing in them. So we have Let's Go party which is right up here we have best coast which is right here it's that hot pink one and then we have socal which is down here those are the three that are marked as press uh, press powders instead of um eyeshadows and that's because in the united states they're not guaranteed eye safe but they're okay in other countries so just keep that in mind it might cause a little staining it might cause irritation depending on if you're allergic to certain red dyes the color very kind of similar vein of the violet boss 
uh, flamingo palette you have some beautiful um, sunny colors you have a couple of pops of blue but it's just a really pretty bright palette let me swatch it for you oh uh, oh and I forgot to say there are 15 shades in this palette so a few few less than in the last palette all right and here we go we have all of them swatched as you can see the first couple are very light they do have somewhat of a sheen to them but they mo feel almost more like a topper or a very light shimmer shade they're not going to pack a punch compared to a lot of the other colors in this palette um, there are a lot of mattes but there are some standout shimmers as you can see like this brown is really beautiful I like the pink it doesn't well there you go it doesn't look quite as shimmery as the other ones but it does have a pretty punch to it as well so here we are um, I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror but uh, I do really like this uh, palette I like this formula I think this is one of Colourpop's better palettes I've had some that are just okay this one I really like every day I was reaching into it and I was like oh it's going on so well I really like the colors I really like the color story I do wear those pressed pigments on my eyes sparingly I mean like I'm not going to coat my entire uh, lid in a hot pink by any means but I do wear them and I think they're really pretty and I didn't have any issues with them the shimmers are definitely something that you want to put on with your finger with these the mattes are a little um, more powdery than in the Violet Voss formula, but they still worked really well, and I didn't have any problem using this. Um, the blues, once again, don't feel quite as comfortable in the blues, so I struggled a little bit with those, but overall, I think this was a really good palette as well. All right, next up, we're gonna look at the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette uh, created by Angelica Nyquist. Unfortunately, this one is no longer available as far as I know. It was a limited collaboration and I think I got the last restock because they were going so fast. But I still wanted to kind of uh, review it and talk about it. One, so that I actually used it instead of just letting it sit there because it's so pretty. Like, oh, look at the packaging on this one. So beautiful. And then the back is also very pretty. But also so that... Um, if you decide you want to order from Kleidos because you have to order from their website and they're out of um, China, it takes a while for them to get here. I think they're from Hong Kong, if I remember right. But anyway, it takes a while um, and then you have that risk of ordering from another country. So uh, this is what the palette looks like. Yes, it is very colorful. Like they're looking stunning, but on this side, there are some very dark colors. Get a little closer so that you can see better. Um, so of them this is the darkest palette that you're going to see there are 15 shades in here a mix of once again mattes and shimmers and i will swatch them all for you okay so there they all are as you can see there's a lot of shifting in color going on with those shimmers that is a unique formula and i really do enjoy that aspect of it as you can also tell there are a lot of darker shades in here and even some of the lighter shades they seem to be very light compared to how dark some of the other ones are so in this way I feel like this isn't as um, easy to use of a palette because there are so many dark shades and I don't gravitate towards dark shades a lot so I did struggle as I was trying to create looks in here there's also a lot of blue so I did struggle in that regard as well I did I love the shimmers in here oh my gosh this shimmer right here that's that one that's really catching the light and then the one right next to it is gorgeous too I this oh, I love all of the shimmers and they're very kind of light shimmers so they are more of a topper um, if you just put them on the lid you're not really going to see them unless they catch the light just perfectly so I think they look a little better when they're put over something. One thing I will say about this palette also is, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of stained my fingers as I was swatching it. And I do feel like you definitely need to have an eye primer um, on underneath this or else you're gonna have some pretty heavy staining from it as well because they are so, so pigmented. Um, it's a beautiful palette. The These are like butter, these. Um, mattes they're really soft and creamy just oh they feel so nice to the touch the shimmers are really soft as well too there's not 
chunky at all. Like they kind of look maybe a little chunky when you're looking at them up close in the palette, but they work really well. I think it's a really pretty palette and um, yeah, I do really like it. I'm sad that it was limited edition, but I'm excited to try some other things from Kaleidos. The last palette is the 411 palette from Hip Dot, which is from their Clueless collection. Clueless is my favorite movie. I absolutely loved it. So as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get it. I've missed out on a couple of other Clueless theme palettes that have come out over the years. And I still kind of, I'm bummed about that, but I am glad that I got this entire collection. So in here, there is a mirror that says Total Betty, and then there are 12 shades. So this has the fewest colors of all of them. And this one is a pressed pigment palette as well. I don't know, it doesn't really tell me which ones are um, eyeshadows and which ones are not on the palette. I think with a little research, you could probably do that. It's most likely the um, reds that are um, the ones that are not eyeshadow safe. So I do think it is really pretty and I will swatch it for you. All right, and here we have those 12 shades. As you can see, it's very much a warm leaning palette and it does have a couple pops at the end. I really love this palette because those top two rows are shades that I wear on a regular basis. These are the shades that I really feel comfortable in. Peaches, um, pinks, uh, this one up there is beautiful. That's the one that's on the very end. It's just, it catches the light really beautifully. The two blues, a little more intimidating. The purple, not my favorite shade of purple. It's a little um, light and blue leaning, but I really, I love this palette. I think it's really pretty. Um, the mattes are kind of like a typical matte formula. They aren't bad, they aren't too powdery. They, I didn't have any problems with them. They weren't outstanding. I think the shimmers are really pretty and that's kind of what stands out to me. Like these, this, oh, I love this shade right here and I love these two. It's really pretty. This is going to be the hardest like ranking that I've had to do in a long time, maybe even in this entire series, because I love these palettes so much. So I've been struggling with this ranking since I like started using them and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this one. And then I tried the next one and I loved this one. Um, it's been really difficult and um, the, it's, it's kind of, um, wiggly the order that I'm putting them in. In fourth place though I definitely am putting the Club Nebula palette from um, Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. There's a few reasons. One, you can't get this anymore. It was super limited edition, really hard to get a hold of. So that's the first reason. Um, second reason is because it's just, it's not as versatile to me. Like there's beautiful shades in here. There's some beautiful shimmers and stuff, but this is not something that I could use on a regular basis. I can't really do day-to-day -day looks or work looks with this palette. Um, so I do love it, but I don't think it is as universal of a palette. It's not one that I'm gonna reach for as much as I reach for some of these other palettes. Now we get into the area where I'm like, oh, really, should I put this here? Like I sat and stared at these for a while. So I'm gonna put Malibu Barbie ColourPop's palette in third place um, because one, it does do the staining on the eyes. And um, I don't know, it was really difficult. I really like this palette. This is an awesome palette. I would recommend this palette 100%. I really love it. I love that there's a lot of warm tones in here. I could do work looks in here because there are some browns and peaches. Um, even the yellow, like I'm not going to use the hot pink or the bright blues, but I could use everything else for like everyday looks. So I feel, feel like you have a good versatility with it. Um, and I really do like that palette. Um, second place, I'm putting my Hip Dot palette, uh, Clueless palette. This one was also like, do I put this first? Do I put this second? Do I put this third? Um, so this one, the packaging, I love the packaging. You might not like the packaging as much on this one because this one is fluffy. This one is also really thick. Like if you look at the difference between the palettes, it's much thicker. Um, so I'm gonna put this one 
and second place. I'm, oh, it's so hard. I, I do really love this palette. I can see myself using this in some day-to-day -day looks, but not like this isn't an everyday palette for me. Um, there are some beautiful shades in here. You know, those three shades I don't wear quite as much, but the other ones I really do enjoy. It's a definite recommend as well. Also, my number one is obviously a recommend. I am putting the Violet Voss Flamingo just because one, this has stood the test of time for me. And I know this has, wasn't the most popular palette. Like there's, it was on clearance for a long time and then it's showing up at Ipsy and Boxy and stuff. It's still for sale on their website though. So you can still get it. I would say get it, but if you can get it on sale, do that. I decided to put this one in first place because one, I just absolutely love this palette. I think it is so good. They did such a nice job on it. It's so versatile too. You have like, I can do everyday looks. These here, browns, there's just a lot of good there. The only thing I don't love about it is really that black. Like that's not a shade I'm ever going to use, but I use all of the other shades in here. It's so hard to hold it because I want to hold it, you know, the direction it's meant to be held, but then you're just getting blinded by the light. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's such a good palette, such versatility, just oh, hopefully that's showing up well. It's a great palette. I love it. It's my number one choice. Like I said, though, it was really close. One, two, one, three. Um, depending on the day, I could rearrange those and decide they're in a different order. So if you see any of those palettes, I would highly recommend getting them. Last I checked the... Um, the Hip Dot palette has been on sale at Ulta. I don't know if it's still on sale as of um, this going up, but it has gone on and off sale. So keep your eye out for it if you want to get a deal on it. And um, I haven't seen the ColourPop palette on sale, but I'm sure it will be because I don't think that was as popular of a collection. I don't know why. I don't know why the Malibu Barbie collection hasn't been as good. They did such a good job. Um, I've had to film that a couple times because I keep wanting to like make hand gestures that mean something different now than what I'm trying to make um, the hand gesture for. I'm going to stop talking now because I feel a little slap happy. Um, and I'm looking oily and I think it's just the light. Um, yeah, just, I, I swear this is powdered and doesn't look shiny in real life. Anyway, let me know if you have tried any of these palettes, what your thoughts and opinions are on these palettes. If you have not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It would mean so very much to me. Also, don't forget to give this video a like. It really does help small YouTubers out. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.